Good morning again. Thank you for joining me. Clicking that link to this video. Um, we are right between Austin and San Antonio in New, what is it, New Braunfels. New Braunfels, Texas. So, just stopped on a pilot here. I'm going to get my coffee. We've been rolling for about uh, four hours already. And I'm going to go do that right now. Yeah, if you're watching this, you probably know that yesterday's uh, vlog got uploaded really late because I'm actually still uploading it right now. Uh, I guess through the night my uh, US cell phone turned off for some reason and uh, it stopped the upload of course. So I woke up this morning I was only at 13%. But <laughs> the way it goes. Uh, right now, here, we're at, I hope you can see that, we're at about uh, 71%, and uh, there we go, yeah, so I'm going to let this continue to upload while I'm going down the road, it was at 13, we're at 71 now, and that's four hours, and it's actually, I, I know that sounds bad, but that's actually not that bad while the truck is rolling because you're going in and out of signal all the time um, and it's just it's just slower when you're rolling so that's not too bad um, I can't complain by the time I get to Laredo maybe it'll be done I hope so we're three hours away um, gotta go to Laredo I, I think we're dropping this trailer right there uh, at our yard so I'm, I'm hoping that's the plan and then we'll figure out uh, if I don't have a run right away then maybe I'll uh, see if it's possible for me to go get the truck washed and uh, we'll figure it out just waiting for the guy in front of me here to uh, actually pull through I, I don't know what he was buying so, <clears throat> but that's today. We're up, we're rolling, things are good. And, uh, yeah. Those TMCs are nice trucks, though. TMC. On the back of all the trucks, it says Escalate. Um, destination Excellence. I'm pretty sure that's their fleet trucks because they're all the same, every single one of them. I don't even know if they hire owner operators or anything. That's him back there. So. I feel so much better. That was one of those bathroom breaks where you're not sure if you're going to make it. <laughs> I made it though. That's all that matters. It's always funny when you see the big boys running in to the truck stop. You know where they're heading for. Just get out of their way. It's kind of a messed up place though. you got to kind of go when you come off the interstate you go down the road like a half a mile and then you got to uh, take this hard left it's more than a 90 it's probably more like a hundred 110 degrees 120 degree turn then you got to go down that street a little bit 
I can come in this long driveway at the back. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a decent sized pilot, so um, it, it's worth the effort, especially if you're, you know, rolling in when the sun's coming down. Uh, might be worth the extra effort just to know that you got a decent chance to get a parking spot for the night. I've actually never stopped at this one. I, it's rare that I stop between Austin and San Antonio. I usually do both right away. Keep the wheels going. I'm stopping usually just before Austin. And that way I can do the long stretch. Maybe hit a rest area closer to Laredo if I gotta just, you know, visit the boys room there. But usually I like to do it all in one shot. So, I'm done for the day. Uh, I made it to Laredo. Uh, came down to our yard down here and then they wanted the trailer over at the customer that's going to forward it into uh, Mexico. So I went and dropped that off. And then uh, and came back here. So or <coughs> it's just a matter now of waiting for a reload. Um, I did tell them that I'd be ready to go at 6 in the morning tomorrow. So that's pretty much how they have me in the system. Because uh, I made it here a little bit earlier than I thought. I, I didn't think I'd be here until, you know, a couple hours from now. So made okay time. But everything's all set up. Everything's done. And... I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I need to clean up some of my social media and my email. Um, unsubscribe from a lot of uh, junk mail that's coming in. You know. So, not spam or anything like that. Just old things that I signed up for that I don't, don't care about anymore. I'm sure we all have it. So, i probably do that. Might, I don't know. I might do a little bit of gaming or something on the PS4. I don't know. We'll see how the night goes. Well, I was just thinking, uh, since I'm parked so close to a garbage can, why don't I take out my full garbage? I think that's what I'm going to do. And then, I'm thinking I'm going to go park in that row down there. Because uh, I don't like parking against this wall here. It's not good for data signal and all that stuff. I'll go park in the open. It gets hotter though. Um, but it is above 32, so I think it's 30 or 32. Once you get above that, if you idle the truck, the AC with the truck, and when the idle shutoff light comes on, if you hit it once, it actually won't shut down anymore like if you cancel it uh, normally under under that I think it's 30 32 uh, if it's under that it'll every three minutes it'll keep wanting to shut down you got to keep hitting the clutch in order to cancel it but when it's hot I think they know <laughs> you, you gotta idle it's a good feature though um, I actually discovered it by accident I was just canceling it and then I'm like, wait a minute here. I haven't canceled it in a while. And I'm like, okay. Well, why is it not asking me to? And it ended up idling in a couple hours. Got it nice and cold in here so that my HVAC unit could just keep circulating that nice cold. It's got a little bit of bugs on her. Oh, actually, I don't even think I have this in wide view right now. So that might have been too close for you. So let's grab this garbage. Make sure it's empty. Yep. We're all good. So there. I did a chore today. That wasn't work, but a chore. <laughs> gotta do whatever 
you want to, uh, to make yourself feel good. And if it's taking out the garbage, take out the damn garbage. So let's go for a big ride here. Oh, look at this old school cab over. I think it's a it's an old school international. I was gonna say Freightliner, but no, that's an international. The only cab over you can get in North America now, uh, brand new, is a um, a Freightliner. It's called, I think, I don't know what it's, how it's pronounced. Agrosy? Agrosy? Something like that. Big ride. Looks like somebody's getting some work done on uh, their windshield over there. They might have a big stone chip. So, we should be seeing a shutdown pretty soon. See, there's the idle shutdown. And you just hit the clutch and it's gone and it should uh, it should stay off now but it might do it one more time I can't remember if it's once or twice I think I think it's only once but I'll just sit here until the next time and find out yeah so it was just once but um, I know I didn't uh, do too much today, like, you know, kind of seemed like a, a champagne vlog, right? So, didn't, didn't mean to do that on purpose, just not too much exciting happened and couldn't really get any uh, decent driving footage. So, but one thing I might do is I've got some footage. Um, from when we crossed the border coming down, I had to go through x-ray. Um, so I have a little bit of footage there that I'll need to edit because they're large, large files because it takes, took a lot of time. I think the actual total time going through was about an hour and a half. When I got to the customs booth, he says, oh, but we're not busy, it won't, it won't be long. So I'm like, alright. So I pull around to x-ray, there's like, I think there was like five, six, six, five or six trucks ahead of me. So, that kind of caused a little bit of a delay and then I ended up choosing the newer line of the x-ray because there was two lines there. And that was a little bit longer, so I'm going to cut it all down so it's not as painful for you as it is going to be for me to edit. Um, so there might might be two going up tonight, since this one's going to be a little bit smaller, I think. Um, if it doesn't come up, it'll it'll come up in the next few days because I might I might edit it. I think I will. seats all turned so I can be nice and comfortable. I think you can see that all right. I hope. I'm just going to sit down here and watch the 
Trucker Josh show that he uploaded last night. Gotta see this one. Police arrest a goat in Tim Hortons. Now oh, that's some serious TV. So, why don't we sit back and hit play. Show and shine. Cars. Welcome to the day. Thanks for clicking the video. And then I usually hang out my phone right there so I can control it. All right, so maybe not that exact. I don't know. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. You never know. But I'm going to watch the show. I don't know. And then I'll do some editing. Drive all the way to the 